Society often tells us that ADHD is something that will prohibit us from finding a fulfilling high income job. Well, what if I were to tell you that all of that is a lie? Just because our brains are different doesn't mean there aren't immensely fulfilling fields of work out there for us. In fact, people with ADHD actually have unique opportunities in the job market of today, especially because our brains are so different. Say what? In this video, I will go over the top six jobs that you will definitely be successful in if you have ADHD. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys to ADHD Vision, presenting ADHD by ADHD. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use ADHD to your advantage, why don't you consider subscribing? Now, before we get into it, guys, I actually made a previous video on all the criteria our jobs need to fulfill if they are to fit our brains, which I highly recommend watching before returning to this video. And also, you guys smashed the last video with about 150 likes over the first two weeks, which was amazing. So if we could get 200 likes this time, that would motivate my ADHD brain to produce even more helpful content for you guys. Now, let's get started started. Number one, salesmen. By having to talk to lots of different people daily, sales can provide our brains with a lot of novelty, forcing us to constantly adapt, which is a prime criteria for finding success in your ADHD job. Also, sales is usually connected to monetary incentives, providing us with essential short-term goals that we need in order to stay motivated. I want to see all your money. Excuse me? Show me where the money lives. Now, the average base salary for someone starting out in sales is around 64,000 US dollars with additional compensation ranging from 25 to 40,000 dollars. For most sales jobs, you don't even require a lot of qualifications as long as you have an open, outgoing personality with an interest in psychology, you have the potential to make some serious money. I am actually in sales and I can honestly tell you that while the fast paced environment drives non ADHDers crazy, it is exactly what my brain needs to function at its highest level. Number two, emergency respondent. We are great at thinking on our feet when situations become intense, which is why this fast paced, high intensity job of emergency services respondent is a great fit for you if you like helping people. Help me help you. That rush of adrenaline when someone needs serious medical attention keeps our brain stimulated while your natural ADHD hyperfocus ability might just end up saving someone's life. Now, even though the average salary with around $35,000 a year isn't the highest, you might just end up loving this job because of the excitement and constant action it brings with it. After all, it's not only about the money. I don't even know what you are talking about. Number three, entrepreneur. I know, I know, lots of memes have been made of entrepreneurs over the years and there are by far too many self-proclaimed entrepreneurs out there at the moment. But that doesn't take away from the fact that as someone with ADHD, owning your own business might just be exactly what your brain needs. We are known to be highly creative, meaning that we can have some serious impact when thinking up of new things people and the market might need. Richard Branson, one of the most famous entrepreneurs in the world, actually has ADHD, having founded Virgin Airlines. We need occupations that are passion fueled and that require us to be risk-taking. So if you're someone who wants to make a change in the world while making some serious change, if you know what I mean, this path might be for you. However, I must highly recommend that if you do want to found your own business, you must learn to structure your days and or have someone keeping you organized as this might be a challenge. To help you with this, I have actually developed the perfect ADHD morning routine, which primes your brain for the day ahead, getting you structured and motivated for the day to come. Check it out on the top right. Personally, my dream would be to become a serial entrepreneur, which is someone who basically thinks of ideas, invests into them, and then moves on a couple of months later to the next one. This type of behavior is classic classical for our brains, where we constantly get really motivated for something only to drop it three weeks in, and would most definitely therefore be a dream job for anybody with ADHD. I'm a millionaire, but I'm an entrepreneur. Number four, fitness trainer. This one is great because you're literally doing something that makes you happy. No, I mean literally. Exercise provides us with dopamine, which is the happy brain chemical. And since our ADHD brains are constantly in a dopamine deficit, regular exercise is naturally something that will make you happier and motivated. On top of this already amazing benefit to being a fitness trainer, it's also quite the passion-fueled job as you need to be able to motivate people to reach their highest physical potential. Don't let your dreams be dreams. It's also insanely intense because of all the sweating you and your client will get into together. What? Sorry, that sounded wrong. 
Moving on. The average salary for a fitness instructor is around 52K a year with benefits such as free gym memberships and flexible schedules. Could this be the dream job you have been searching for? Let me know down in the comments. Now guys, before I continue with the next two jobs, which I think you will love, by the way, I wanna remind all of you who are still watching that only around 20% of you are actually subscribed. If you wanna learn how to use ADHD to your advantage, you cannot miss out on any more of my videos. Learn to live your best life with ADHD by subscribing and most importantly, ringing the bell to not miss out on any more of my content. Number five, data analyst. Contrary to common belief, People with ADHD can actually excel at jobs that require our undivided attention as long as it is something that we are interested in. Once we're interested in something, our hyper-focus kicks in and we can enter a wormhole of focus, drowning out anything and everything around us. Being a data analyst or a coder is not only great because it allows you to exert your hyper-focus ability, but also because it is a highly structured occupation, bringing some much needed structure into our unstructured lives. The average base salary for data analysts, by the way, is around 75K a year, not bad. Number six, and you knew this one was coming, content creator. That's right. Producing your own content and putting it online is what I'm doing and I love it. It's a creative and passion fueled occupation with TikTok currently being my favorite app to upload content to. If you're not following my TikTok yet, what are you doing with your life? No, but all jokes aside, consider becoming a content creator, especially if you're currently in university and haven't engaged into a nine to five job yet, because right now you really have time to test out a few ideas and potentially make it big. Your talent isn't enough. You've gotta go put in the work. It's an occupation that, with indicators such as view count, likes, and subscribers, provides us with instant feedback, which is very important for our ADHD brains. Where are you currently working? Let me know in the comments. I'll be really interested to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, you must check out this related video on how to use your ADHD hyperfocus ability to your advantage and check out the ADHD morning routine if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to do so. I will see you again in hopefully two weeks. Till next time, guys.